We begin with Katrina Bauer and Jesse Vang appearing virtually in court today for charges filed back on Thursday in the death of Two Rivers toddler Elijah Vu. Bauer, Elijah Vu's mother, faces charges of chronic neglect of a child where the consequence is death, child neglect, and obstructing an officer. Vang, Bauer's boyfriend, is charged with physical abuse of a child causing death, hiding a corpse, and obstructing an officer. Today, Bauer waived her right to a preliminary hearing, and the court found probable cause that she, quote, committed a felony. Her arraignment has been set for October 30th. Vang, meanwhile, opted to receive a preliminary hearing, which is set to take place Thursday. Elijah was reported missing back on February 20th, and in September, his remains were discovered in a wooded area. The cause of death was listed as homicide by an unspecified cause. We now bring you to Two Rivers, the area Elijah was last seen in while he was staying with Vang, where the community is reacting to the recent charges. Local 5 Samantha Petters joins us live now with the latest there. Hi, Samantha. That's right, Caitlin. Now we have seen the toll this has taken on the Two Rivers community and really the entire state, but emotions are still high as there continue to be new developments. I spoke with a woman, Diane Beisingerman, Beisingerman who lives just down the street from the apartment where Jesse Vang lived here in Two Rivers. She told me she moved her family here just weeks before Elijah Vu was reported missing. Police reports say Elijah had been living here with Vang. She also said that although it was a scary and difficult time, having to speak with Two Rivers Police, the FBI, and several other agencies. It was seeing the community coming together to try to find answers that made the move easier. We had moved here. We were here for two weeks. We still had our moving stuff here out in the front when this was all happening. And I was calling my husband and I'm saying, you know, like, I can't believe this is what we moved into. I can't believe this is happening. And he said, well, the positive is, is that you see the community out and that and that was true it was like a parade throughout the whole neighborhood of people and vehicles any type of vehicle you could think of was out there looking in february and it continued on for well into the weeks afterwards Bryce Zigeman adds that she is still trying to wrap her head around the case as a whole, but is just thankful for all of the efforts that have gone into keeping the community safe. Live from Two Rivers, I'm Samantha Petters, Local 5 News. Caitlin. All right, Samantha, thank you very much for that update.